Today, we're gonna to be talking about some of the foundational knowledge that you can learn to get your IT career kickstarted. A lot of people come to this channel and ask me how they can learn the skills and knowledge that it takes to get started in IT. And then, of course, are there certifications that align with those skills and that can actually help me? Well, yes, to all of those questions. And that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video with three of the best foundational certifications that you can get from CompTIA, which are the CompTIA A+, the CompTIA Network+, and the CompTIA Security+. Plus. As I'm covering some of the information about these certifications in this video, you're probably going to be wondering, well, how do I actually learn the information that's on these exams? And that's where the sponsor of today's video comes into play, IT Pro by ACI Learning. You may be familiar with them. I've worked with them for like five or six years now, and they are actually who I used to help pass my CompTIA Security Plus certification way back when I took that exam, I think in 2019. You'll hear more about IT Pro throughout this video, but just know when you're looking for the training to go along with these exams, be sure to check out IT Pro by ACI Learning. The link's in the description below for them. They have practice exams for all of the certifications that we're gonna be talking about in this video. And they also have virtual labs. So you can actually get in and experience some of these things hands on. So be sure to check out our sponsor, IT Pro by ACI Learning. Again, links in the description below. Let's talk about these certifications though. To kick things off and to really get your career kickstarted, the best IT certification hands down is the CompTIA A plus certification. This is like the de facto fundamental base certification that is known across the industry. The CompTIA A plus certification is good for anyone and everyone who's looking to get started in IT. It really does help cover a lot of the foundational and fundamental skills that you really need to help you get your career moving. Now the CompTIA A plus is actually two exams, the core one and the core two. In core one, you're gonna find information regarding mobile devices, networking, hardware, virtualization and cloud computing, and then hardware and network troubleshooting. So right there in the first exam, there's a lot of information that's going to be covered that is kind of fundamental to the IT world. Mobile devices that you're gonna come across all the time, networking, which is really the core of the information technology field because networks run everything. And then of course, hardware, where they cover some of the different components that you're gonna find in some of the different devices that you'll see in the IT field. Virtualization and cloud computing, which is literally everywhere. It's taking a lot of what you're learning from the networking and from hardware, and then it's showing you how those things can be virtualized and put out into the internet. So that section will cover the virtualization and cloud computing, which is really important in today's IT world as well. And then of course, the last section of the core one, which is my favorite section, which is hardware and network troubleshooting. In this section, you're going to learn how you can troubleshoot some of the most frequent things within the IT field. So the first part of this exam definitely has a lot of great information for you to learn. So definitely make sure you check out all these domain objectives. I'll provide links to these in the description for all of the certifications below. So make sure you check out the description for all those links that I just talked about. Now, the second part of the exam, the core two, this section is going to be covering operating systems, security, software troubleshooting, and then operational procedures. In the operating system section, it covers some of the fundamental knowledge that you'll find for Windows operating systems, for the Mac OS, and of course, Linux operating systems as well. My favorite section of the core two is definitely the security section, because here they definitely help lay down some of the fundamental information that you need to know about the security side of IT. But CompTIA really goes into much more detail and the security side of things in their CompTIA Security Plus certification that we're going to be talking about later on in this video. But for the A+, just the fact that it covers some of the basic fundamental security security things that you need to learn is definitely a great thing that I really appreciate about that exam. Another great section of this exam is the software troubleshooting. If you're not familiar with troubleshooting software, this section is definitely a gold mine of information because it covers a lot of the things that you're going to experience when you have to troubleshoot software ultimately. So make sure you check out that section as well. It's one of my favorites also. I would say all in all, the core two is probably my favorite part of the CompTIA A plus exam, because even the operational procedures part is very informational for you. Because if you're not familiar with ticketing systems and asset management and the different types of documents and knowledge base articles and documents and business procedures and things like that, change management, right? There, there's so much information that's covered in the operational procedures of the CompTIA A+. That covers a little bit of the information that you'll find within the CompTIA A+. Let's talk a little bit about the exam. As we said already, the CompTIA A+, is two exams, the Core 1, which is the 220-1101, and the Core 2, which is the 220-1102. Each exam has a maximum of 90 questions. You also have a 90-minute time frame to take that exam. And the exam consists of multiple choice questions. It has 
has a drag and drop, and it also has performance-based questions on there as well. For the Core 1, you need a passing score of 675 out of a 900 scale, and for the Core 2, you need a passing score of 700 out of a 900 on that scale. For each exam, it costs $246, but here's a pro tip for you. If you go and sign up for the CompTIA store membership thing, which I'll put a link for in the description below, I believe it's like $45 or so, but once you do that, you actually will be then qualified to get a discount coupons from CompTIA, which can help you lower the uh, exam price. So make sure you check that out. Definitely very beneficial for you for all of these exams. If you have your CompTIA A plus and you're looking to get a job, it's perfect for any entry level IT job that you're gonna find out there, whether that's help desk or some type of technician position. And it's really important to note that even higher level jobs might require you have a CompTIA certification, specifically the ones that we're gonna be talking about in this video. And that more specifically relates to a lot of government jobs will actually require you have some CompTIA certifications. So just to note, Great for entry level, technicians, help desk, but it also goes across the board. So it's definitely a great certification. It just shows that you have some type of fundamental knowledge about many of the different IT facets that you'll see across the information technology field or world. Moving on to the next certification in this list is the CompTIA Network Plus certification. Now, I've made a lot of videos where I talk about this certification, but the fact of the matter is, the fundamental knowledge that you will learn from this certification is extremely beneficial. Networking is really like the core to IT. Everything has to be run through a network for things to work properly, right? So one of the big things about the Network Plus that it's going to cover that I just wanna highlight right off the bat, we could just highlight these top three because I think these are some of the most important things that you're going to learn from the Network Plus and some of the most important things that you need to learn about networking. So again, the OSI model for sure, IP addressing and subnets. Learning and understanding those three things are always going to be very, very helpful for you. Now for the CompTIA Network Plus certification, it is vendor neutral, meaning it is not going to specifically cover one of the networking vendors out there, like Cisco, for instance, right? Or Juniper. It more or less teaches you the fundamentals of networking as a whole. As we said earlier, IP addressing, the OSI model, subnets, VLANs, things like that. And of course, there's so much more when it comes to networking. And there's great reason for that. Networking runs everything. You can't have a business operate without having a network put into place, just like you can't have websites out on the internet without some type of network put into place. There is so much information to know about networking, and it's really one of those core fundamental uh, skills that every person working in IT should have some fundamental knowledge about. And with that, the certification is literally good for anyone and everyone also who's looking to get into IT. Specifically, if you're looking to go into the networking route of the world, like become a network administrator or network engineer, getting started with a Network Plus certification is a great route for you. Not only that, it's great for entry level roles as well. And of course, if you're looking to venture off into the cybersecurity world, having the Network Plus certification will also be very helpful for that field as well. But it's really great for all the fields, quite honestly. Just the fundamental information that you learn from the certification alone will be helpful for you throughout your entire career. So more information on the CompTIA Network Plus N10-008 certification. You have 90 minutes to take this exam. It has a maximum of 90 questions. You need a score of 720 out of a 900 scale to pass that exam. And it is mostly multiple choice and it has a few performance-based questions. And it costs 358 US dollars to purchase a voucher for that exam. Networking is really kind of like the core of IT. So having any type of advanced knowledge about networking is always going to be helpful for you throughout your career. Now, out of all the certifications on this list and all the certifications in this world, the CompTIA Security Plus is the only one that I have. And it is, as far as I'm concerned, the best certification that CompTIA offers. Now, the reason for that is because it really does cover a lot of great fundamental knowledge that you need to know and understand about the security side of IT. And really, this certification goes so broad into some of the different security features in the world of IT from physical security to network security to hardware security, all of those fun things. There's so much information on there that I think 
everybody should know. And it doesn't matter what part of IT you wanna get into, I think everybody should have the CompTIA Security Plus certification. The information on there is so beneficial, especially as we're looking in really today's day and age of information technology. Having security knowledge is always, always going to be so helpful for you. Now, one of the important things to note is you definitely wanna have prior experience in IT or have previously done and completed your CompTIA A plus and or your CompTIA Network Plus certification before you jump into the Security Plus cert. It's not one of those things that you should just jump right into by any means, because there is a lot of more advanced information that you'll find on that exam that you would actually learn by taking the A plus and net plus prior. So that is very, very important to note. I wanna make sure that everybody understands that it's definitely great to have some previous experience. Again, it's really good for anybody who's looking to get into IT. If you're looking to specialize in security though, it's definitely probably the best fundamental based security certification that you can get to really get your feet wet into the security side of IT. So if you're looking to become a pen tester or you're looking to be on the blue team, make sure you take a look at the Security Plus certification because that information that you're gonna learn on there is something that you have to know. Maybe not have to know, no, you have to know. It's really good. Now this exam covers a lot of different things, again, that are security focused, starting with attacks, threats, and vulnerabilities, moving on to architecture and design, implementation, operations, and incident response, and then ending with governance, risk, and compliance. And really, out of these five domains that they have listed here, these are all very fundamental core kind of information about security that you should know about. Like if, if you're wanting to work in IT and you're wanting to specialize in security, I just cannot say enough good things about this hurt. I really can't. And you might be wondering if it's challenging or not. And I've known people who've worked in IT for 20 years who have taken this exam and failed it the first time. In fact, I failed it the first time. And I've been working in IT for like 18 years at that point. The first time I failed it, but the second time, thanks to IT Pro, that is really honestly, truly what helped me pass the certification. I went through Wes Bryan's CompTIA Security Plus Accelerated course, which was like 11 hours. That literally changed the entire exam for me. Like when I went into the exam the second time, like I was just, I was 100% prepared that time. I thank IT Pro for that like every single day, because if it wasn't for them, I promise you, I would not have passed that exam the second time. And going back to the domain objectives for the last time, just looking at the five of these, the attacks, threats, vulnerabilities, architecture and design, implementation, operations and incident response, governance, risk and compliance. Having previous IT experience or having that fundamental information that you're going to learn from the CompTIA A plus or, and, and or the CompTIA Network Plus is really going to help put a lot of this information that you're gonna learn from the Security Plus into perspective. So again, I really have to make sure that you go back and learn the fundamentals of IT before you even jump into the Security Plus because that is definitely something you need to know. So some information on the CompTIA Security Plus SY0-601 is that it has a maximum of 90 questions. It's mostly multiple choice and a few performance-based questions on there. You have 90 minutes to complete this exam. You need a passing score of 750 out of a 900 scale there, and it costs 392 US dollars to purchase a voucher for this exam. Now, if you're looking to get a job and you have your Security Plus certification, you're probably going to be more in luck than most people because this certification is definitely in demand. And again, this is one of those big ones. If you're working or you want to work for the U.S. government or affiliated types of agencies, the CompTIA certifications are definitely required for those types of jobs. And the Security Plus is definitely one of those that is highly suggested. So make sure you check that out for that just alone. But really, whether you're looking to work in help desk, networking, cloud, security, of course, the Security Plus exam is always going to be helpful for you in those fields. And when you're looking to start taking your career past entry level, having this certification on your resume is always, always going to stand out. 
It is really the best certification as far as information and markability that CompTIA offers. So definitely check out that exam for sure, but make sure you learn all those fundamentals beforehand. Now that I covered all three of those certifications, one of the things that CompTIA also offers is the stackable certification things. And this is one of the things about CompTIA that I kind of actually like because you may have heard of this before, and if you haven't, you're gonna hear about it right now. It's the CompTIA trifecta. And what we just talked about, the CompTIA A+, the CompTIA Security+, and the CompTIA Network+, Plus, they make up the CompTIA trifecta. That's those three certifications. Those three certifications alone will always help you stand out. In fact, CompTIA really does make a big deal out of that. The CompTIA trifecta is definitely more of a marketing thing, but it's really something that can help you stand out if you're trying to get into the IT field or you're trying to advance your career. So again, if you're looking to learn the information that's covered on any of these CompTIA certifications that we covered in this video, or even more, check out IT Pro by ACI Learning. There's a link in the description below. Again, they helped me pass my CompTIA Security Plus certification. And not only do they have CompTIA training over there, they have literally like everything over there. So whether you're looking for Microsoft certifications, Cisco certifications, they have you covered. So make sure you check out IT Pro by ACI Learning. Use the coupon code ITCQ30 because that will save you 30% off of your subscription there. And you definitely wanna use that because you can get their more advanced plan, which gives you access to their virtual labs and their practice labs. And I cannot stress to you enough how important those practice labs are going to be for you when you're going through and trying to learn the CompTIA certifications that we covered in this video. You're gonna to wanna to go over those practice exams over and over again until you're getting like a 90% pass rate. And once you do that, you should be ready to take these CompTIA certification exams. I hope you found the information in this video useful. These are great certifications that you can get to help you kickstart your career and advance your career even further. And just the information, the knowledge that you gain from them alone, are it, it's really always going to be beneficial for you. So I wish you nothing but the best of luck in your journey to a successful IT career. And as always, take it easy.